welcome back and in this video i'm going to show you how you can make emote system in the game so for emotes you need first the emotes animation you can use any type of emotes animation pack or any type of dance pack for example like this so in the emotes whenever in a pubg or in a call of duty or any other game whenever emotes play most of the weapon will be high automatically the player will be complete his dance and everything whatever he wants but it should be a short timeline after that it will be back and the weapon will respawn so for making this thing we can make a system okay it can be a montage type system i will uh, so highly suggest you to create a montage system so what will be do that you will be get this kind of like a option that after the complete animation or you can basically play a two seconds daily uh, for example check all your all animation that how much time they have like if it's all the animation are more than two seconds or three seconds or not like most of cases emotes are pay more than three seconds or four seconds so you can play on any of them so i'm seeing that most of my animation is more than four to five uh, seconds so yeah you can see that it's more than two three even more or five most of cases are five so i can even use a uh, five seconds uh, emote so make sure that first you check all of your emotes if you don't if you think that your all emotes are different time situation you can create an animation montage just play in a full body mode okay now let's go to uh, the full animation. so let me give him make it mark that uh, my speed okay it's not the this is this was the previous video code okay now at here uh, let's create a custom event let's uh, for emotes let's play uh, for keyboard for keyboard and at there it will be play a random animation so custom event let play emotes okay at this emotes will be simply play animation from mesh like this and will be do a once so player can't be just you know just get some glitch and just repeat and repeat just play and play like this and then we'll be make a here a random system so random and now here will be make a ever system where we can put our all the animations so let me just make a uh, I guess I have a one three six seven eight nine ten ten slots so let me make ten slots okay the nine equals to ten so that's why so zero one two three four five six seven eight and nine which is basically ten then we'll be make a system for a timeline for let's play the animation for four seconds and then it will be uh, if you want you can get a sequence for extra code if you have anything extra for now i don't have so i just basically reset with this so then the player will be have a reset system okay now at here because my all the weapons are in a component that which i can control so what i'm going to do i'm get all of my games at here uh on the place time as well we also need to get them as play so let me add the sequence at here too and let me get the mash at here okay at where it will be joined like this then set visibility and connect like this and i'll be untick that and second time after the completing the source or the system it will be again repackaged back it like this now for reset this thing to animation so we'll be just set mode which is basically reset the system so we'll be just call the system call uh, function it's a uh, function that it will be set as a uh, animation broken so whatever the animation will be automatically set it there okay we can do one more things like for a tier let let's let's try then let's see how it's work okay we have currently you can see that we have a rifle mode now let's play for and as you can see it's now playing and now the main problem is that we can even move right now and even with the four seconds so we need to do some things called uh whenever it's um you know playing emotes it should be stopped so e emotes emotes so like whenever even it's uh, emotes it can't be fire as well we can make those system 
so even like a date okay so for now uh, because i need uh, this thing as a more so i'm going to create a macro function called the stop system stop system and if my emotes are or boolean equal let's create a variable called death if i'm death or emotes if it's brown any of them as true let's say contour contour and if it's false then it's mean that okay we have access we even not playing any emotes or death even also as i will say that on the reloading one okay i know this is not this part video but i'm still adding those uh rf because it's really needed that whenever we are reloading the system uh we are not able to shoot or even fire on any type of like uh but there's a problem like if i connect with this one it will be also can block my movement system so for now i'm just keeping it like this i just uh maybe stop system uh let's give it name that with the movement so i can easily detect i don't become confused with this let's give it that mv m o v movements now let's go graph let's grab this thing like now it will be stop the movement so will be we can't even aim if it's true or even it's a false uh, uh let's give it that a x c u and can't move can so if i can uh oh it's can't <laughs> sorry should be like this can't okay okay cool now can't move okay and then same thing for uh weapon switching will be not work you know it's kind of like whenever we create any inputs now we need to give this system so it will be detect that okay we can't move okay or uh, switch anything as well i guess i need some more space at here i can't even shoot so for shoot execution this is uh, the functions so like this and i need one more oh man so it will be at here scrap can for the reload will be keep it like this hell can be happen high speed also uh but to be honest we are blocking the movement so it's not going to be work so for the movement the last thing is here uh at the left right movement if it's something is happening at here not going to be work which is the main our objective compile save and now if i press on 4 i can't oh what the heck i still can oh i forget uh to run this boolean at here that we are playing emotes so we can say that here that emotes and after this all thing done the emotes will be disabled okay now even if i press 4 as you can see i can move i can switch weapon which is really cool and after the emotes my turn i am back to track and now i can fire which is really cool and now we also at, you can see we are respawning the weapon but at there is a problem coming that which mode we are we need to verify that and depends on that we should be come back at that mode so, okay so now currently on this position so let me just break this one and go to up and connect with this and let's get another one for this but at here will be said that or check that if the rifle is true or not if it's the rifle is true at that point
Uh, at that point, if it's the rifle is true, at uh, that point the rifle should be visible, not the one. If it's not, it means that we are in a pistol mode, so the pistol will be visible. Okay. It's basically depends on the mode, which mode we are. Okay. It will be switched on that uh, particular mode and depends on that which is cool so now even if i switch the position uh, this one and it's pay a random animation okay so if you want we can keep this in and it will become back this thing if i run uh, this one uh and play this which is really cool and okay let's look okay to me and thus in this way we can make this thanks so much for watching see you in the next video